What's going on, everyone, and welcome back to episode two of our Let's Play series of Pal World. Last episode did not end the way that we were hoping it would. Tragically, we had our first death immediately after I said I didn't want to die for quite a while in this game. And yeah, but things happen. We recovered, we rebuilt, and we have expanded. We have been playing this off camera. Well, not off camera, off YouTube. Uh, been streaming this over on our Twitch channel, which if you want to stay in the loop with everything going on in this world, make sure that you are following me over there at twitch.tv slash dreadpiratepacks. That way you're not missing out on any of the shenanigans we get into in this world. Now, with that said, we are at level 18 now. We have made some changes to the base. We've moved things around, gotten some more pals, and yeah now we're now we're working on building up our infrastructure now the goal for today is to get us set up with a, a secondary base preferably somewhere where there is a lot of uh ore deposits so that we can have a steady a steady supply of ores coming in and so the area that we're going to be looking at is somewhere off in I believe it's this general area here. There should be a spot that is almost entirely ore deposits that we can wall off and, and set some pals over there to start mining for us. Cut out some of that leg work, you know? All right, and then let's go ahead and head south because I believe it's on this island. Uh, it may be to the, the one a little bit further west. Oh, guess we're not grabbing that, Vixie. Didn't stand a chance. All right, so that area across the way over there is where we are heading. You can see all the different ore deposits laying over there. And conveniently, somebody has built a bridge here. Now we might as well go ahead and help out this Toko Toko. Here we are. A perfect little spot to set up a second base. So what we're going to go ahead and do... Uh, is try to find us some um, wooden stone. So that we can build us a new PAL box. That should be everything we needed right there. And so this pal box we're going to go ahead and put in the middle of all this just to make sure that it encompasses all of them. That should be good right there. Perfect. Now, ideally, what we're going to want is we're going to want uh, some pals that have level two mining, uh, which I don't know if I have anyone that does that just yet. Oh, we do. We have uh, a pen king, so we'll go ahead and drop him out, as well as a do mud. 
Oh, we have two of them. Perfect. So they will be able to collect quite a bit for us. All right. So now what we're going to need to do is we are going to need to make some beds. We have six pals out, so we need six beds. And we'll use this area right here. And they're making short work of that ore. All right, so right here, we'll go ahead and get our primitive furnace all set up and ready to go. While they're taking a snooze, we'll get this built. Perfect. All right, and then they're going to need a, a few other quality of life things. They're going to need a feed box. And we'll go ahead and plop that down right here. And then I'm going to need to run and grab some berry seeds because we'll need to get a plantation going so that they'll always have a food source. They're going to need a hot spring, which means we're going to need to grab some pal fluids, some palladium fragments, and a little bit more wood. All right, so we have everything but the pal fluids. So the plan now is to get us over to a beach so we can find us some water pals that we can either capture or knock out in order to get pal fluids. I've oh, got a couple kelpsies right here. Let's go ahead and see if we can snag us up one of these. That sweet is not giving up. Our capture rate for this thing is terrible. But it looks like we finally got it. So there's some more PAL fluids for us. And of course we'll go and hit this fast travel point so that we have it unlocked. And that way we can get back to our base uh, easily once we collect all the PAL fluids that we need. These cellar rays should give us some as well. to run out here to collect those all right and how many pal fluids are we up to seven we need three more All right, and there's all of our PAL fluids to make us a new hot tub. Perfect. So the only thing really missing over here, if I if I really wanted to put one, would be, you know, a spot that I could sleep to pass the night. But for now, we can just head on back over to our base. Incubation is done, so let's go ahead and hatch this egg, see what we got. Another Dinosaur. Awesome. Throw the dark egg in there and head down to bed. Is that? I did not know that your pals could sleep on your bed. It's kind of cool. Okay, so what I've gone ahead and done is I've 
taken all of my pals that I had out working here and I've put them back in the pal box for the time being because what we're going to do now um, since we have our iron all set up is we're going to move all of our uh, workstations so our, our plantations our mining pit our logging site all of that but we're going to go ahead and move it all up here along with all of their beds and everything and that way we can use this area down here to build us a proper base I think this area right here will be perfect for the logging site if we can get it to sit down correctly. And then the logging site we can put right up against it. All right, and then as far as beds go, we can put these over here. All right, there's 12 beds for the 12 pals that we can have out. And there's a food box for them. Get our crusher rebuilt. All right, so I decided that since the plantations wouldn't sit nice and flat on the ground uh, due to it being a little uneven, I went ahead and put it up on this uh, stone foundation here, which they should just be able to walk up and get to. And then it left a nice perfect spot here for the mill, so we went ahead and moved it over from, from where it was. Um, I think this should work out real nice. I went ahead and made this area inside of these ruins my my workshop area. So I have all my different crafting benches. Alright, so it's nothing nothing fancy to look at. But we have ourselves a new base. So let's go check it out. Got ourselves a nice little bar and table to eat at. A fireplace for lighting. Up here we have our bed and some storage. We have our podium where we could make them work harder if we wanted to. But everyone is everyone's working i think it's all coming along very nicely as we look out over all of our happy workers that is where we're going to wrap things up for today i hope that you guys enjoyed Oops, crotch shot if you did make sure to hit that like button consider subscribing and we'll see you guys in the next one later